Hello everyone and welcome back to the 74th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features, and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and anything else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting this episode off with the first creation, we have the NNTC X91. This is a creation done by that cool cat and also urine wand. Now this is meant to be experimental alternative propulsion VTOL. Now it looks really cool and very interesting with this big fan in the center. Um, pretty very easy to actually fly it. It's got a couple screens inside there, a simple on button and a simple throttle. Uh, so it looks very interesting, especially how this is going to work. So let's spawn in and see how it flies here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation, you can see this thing looks really very, very tiny and very, very thin. A very interesting design that I haven't really seen before. Now, what do we, we don't have much around here. It looks like we just got some wings and some lights and that's pretty much about it. Um, some landing gear and then we have the actual so we have the two rotors in here very interesting okay very interesting uh we have the main cockpit so let's go and get inside there uh, oh automatically closing i think there is some is that a parachute we have a heater uh we have our rps and then some screens so i'm guessing that's our throttle I'm guessing uh we also have our actual artificial horizon and our altitude if I'm correct we have on off and then allow horizontal flight okay so on off goes and starts so you can see those rotor blades engine somewhere hidden in here interesting I don't know where he put the engine it looks tiny okay let's go and see if we can go up yeah we can that's very smooth very 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 smooth And let's go and move forward. Yeah, look at that. Can we turn? Yeah, we can too. Wow, that's awesome. Very, very, very smooth. I'm not surprised, especially with your own one being involved in this one. Okay, can we do horizontal flight? Uh, okay, so it's a, yeah, it's like a V. Oh, that's very interesting. Look at that. So now the propellers go the completely opposite way and becomes ther theoretically a plane. Because it, well, it's doing 58, I'm guessing knots. That is really cool. And then of course we can just go and switch it back into like helicopter mode. Yep. Nice. Very, very, very. That is a cool creation. And it's nice and small for getting around within the islands definitely yeah really really cool and definitely go check this one out let's go and move on to the next creation of the episode and moving on to the next creation we have the black dragon c24 VTOL dropship this is a creation done by dacrayon now this is meant to be as it says in the name a VTOL aircraft uh, it's meant to be apparently very powerful and super stable now a lot of features inside here there's tons of seats parachutes art equipment scuba gear there's beds autopilot maps radios transponder flares you name it it's got it apparently a top speed around 490 kilometers per hour which is really fast um so yeah really interesting to see how this one works so let's go and spawn in it and see how it flies and spawning in the next creation you can see this looks really nice i love the design of this it definitely reminds me a lot of logs creations with this very like modern futuristic spaceship kind of vibes uh really quite nice seems like we've got a couple of gimbal cameras uh some spotlights around there uh, we have, let's see, it looks like some exhausts possibly in here, okay. Uh, moving around, we have a recharging station, some more engines here at the back, and don't see anything else really, some antennas and things, what are these? Okay, so all of our flares here at the back, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Is there an entry point anywhere, is my question so it looks like maybe this is actually yeah this is a door okay 
So we can go and open up. That's very clean. Goes and opens up very nicely. We can go and close that. Uh, we have the interior with some cabs uh, for sleeping, medical, another door. We have this big cargo room. It looks really cool too. Loads of detail in here. We have all kinds of equipment and some seats. We have gates. Okay, so this is a hatch. We can, yeah, we could probably fit some vehicles in there too and some equipment and some cargo. Really nice, actually. Uh, let's go and carry on. So what do we have? We have some lights. Do that work? No. Screen? No. Okay, so those don't work. So I'm guessing we need some power somewhere. So what do we have here? So we have... I'm guessing this... Okay, so this must be our main systems. Okay, turbine startup back up. No, so main systems on. That must mean that now we can get the lights on. Yep. Okay, so now we can get the lights on. Turn it on and off. And screen. Okay, so we've got a big screen that comes down. That's really nice. A little map. Interesting. That's cool. Nice little touch there. Um, let's get the light back on. What do we have? So just a hatch to get to the top, I'm guessing. Yeah, so we can have a look around the top. Okay. Uh, we'll close that. Let's go into the main bridge or cockpit here. So we have stabilization right here. Contact. I'm not too sure what the contact does. Toggle button. Not too sure what that does. On off light. Let's get the light on. It's not that bright, but I think it will do. Uh, turbine startup on why not contact okay so that means we get all our systems on oh hello wow a little starting up screen then we got our monitors uh we have some okay so this is for like okay nice so then you have a screen for this person so you can do camera yeah nice okay oh, you can change the feeds so feed two feed three Oh, very nice okay cool so nice little screen there for that guy and then i'm guessing another one here for this bit uh, let's get the screen on so he's got a map and yeah just a map okay nice so you can zoom in and out have a look at all that okay cool so nice little seats there we have looks like some fuel range flares etc we got a little guessing radar yeah radar range uh, GPS, we have a couple other things in there. GPS systems, altitude hold, altitude set, autopilot, landing camera, go. Okay, I'm guessing go means start. Um, we can start our engines. Fuel transfer, okay. And this is what our radio and emergency beacons. Okay, so let's get these jets on. I'm guessing throttle can stay as is. We'll test the autopilot system, so we'll just put it there uh, in a few seconds. And we'll test the altitude hold at, let's say, 200. Okay, so it looks like we're getting up now. We have this nice on-screen horizontal horizon. Okay. What else? Landing lights, front lights, navigation lights, to close all doors, thruster, red alerts, open all lights. Open all lights. Okay. Uh, radar mute and then backlights. Okay. So I'm guessing we can just go up. Let's see. Do we need to increase the throttle a bit? Possibly. Let's go and just get that throttle up. Okay, let's try now. Maybe we need to do the go. Was it? Was there a go 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 or something? Oh yes, there's the go go go. Oh, okay, maybe we weren't meant to touch that throttle. Let's bring your throttle back down. So it seems to be a little bit of a ever so slight amount of lag on the on the screens as you can see there. That's probably just me not not the creation. Guessing if we were to go and just downgrade the quality of the cameras, it would probably go a little bit easier. Let's see if we can do that. So settings, and you can go down to monitor quality. Let's do low. Save that, and let's see if we still... Yeah, so now you can see it's still getting a little bit of lag, but not too much. Actually, that didn't really help it, to be honest. I'm still getting good FPS in games, so I'm very interested to see why... We're getting the monitors like that. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, let's go and test out the... Okay, we can get our landing gear. So, landing gear. Cool. 
Uh, we also have, let's get our altitude set. Okay, that's very clean actually. Running very smoothly. Uh, let's do our autopilot. So it's now going to turn for that direction. Just going to close that. I want to see how it's going to actually pick up some speed here. Is it going to? Seems like it's still turning. It's still trying to turn. And then is it going to increase its speed now and go forward? It should do. Unless we're just too close. Hmm. Let's see. We'll cruise on, maybe? Yeah. So you need to put cruise on. Okay, and then it's going to fly to that destination. Is it going to stop itself, or do I need to put cruise back on? Or off. I need to put cruise off. Okay. So, yeah, it's so you need to actually put the cruise on and off to get it to actually drive to its location. Uh, but once it gets there, yeah, it's perfect. Look at that. Now it's turning around because it knows it's going over it. But it's very, very clean, very smooth. I'm not too sure what's up with the monitors here and why we're getting so much lag on them. Um, but yeah, overall, really cool creation. Lovely design, definitely futuristic and military-wise. Uh, but let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Sawyer Transit System. This is a transit system that runs on the southeast port line of the Sawyer Islands. This creation is done by Ina213, along with that Amakoyum, and also Happiness. Now, the creation itself looks really cool. I've already checked it out in a video. It's got a pod car that runs between two different stations. So let's go spawn this one in and see how it works. And spawning the next creation in, we're here at the fishing village on the Mega Island. Now, as I said already, we have checked this out before. It's an awesome creation. Now, I don't know if it's because maybe me, I reviewed it a couple days ago. It's in the top five, but it is an awesome creation. I definitely think it deserves to be here. Um, so we got this station, which is over here, and it's got a little like ticketing machine, which is awesome. Uh, I like the detailing on here. We've got a little station and there's another station over at the um, harbor just down there, as you can see. So this is actually quite a far distance to walk. So that's the main reason why this creator created this. Um, so we can go and we can go and call it. So it will come here. Now we could uh, go and walk over there and call it from there. It doesn't the actual cab doesn't need to be here? Uh, you can call it from either side. So that's a nice thing. It's got a little radio on it. Uh, doors going to open up automatically, and I love the detailing, especially with the colors. It all looks really cool. And uh, if I'm correct, we can just sit down here and we can do close doors, and we can do start. And once it does that, um, it literally starts its process up. You can see, I, think, I still think, wait, is it started yet? No, there we go. And we can start it, and now it sets off. And it's actually got some tires underneath it, and that's how it works. It doesn't, it doesn't follow like a track system or anything. It just drives. And how it works is there's distance sensors, as you can see, on either side here. Uh, and what it's doing is it measures, it measures itself to the wall. And it pretty much uses those four distance sensors to always keep it between a certain distance. So, for example, as soon as it, it detects like, okay, the right hand side is too close, it moves it to the left. If the left hand side is too close, it moves it to the right. And it keeps on doing that. So it drives in a, it pretty much just drives along this track. So it's really cool. Um, I think, I don't even know if it's got an engine in it. I'm guessing it's just an electric motor. Uh, I could be wrong once again. But uh, yeah, it's an awesome, cool little creation. I love the little detailing he's done on it um, with the numbers, the lights on it. Uh, as I said in my video a couple days ago is I would probably stiffen the suspension ever so slightly um, or increase the dampening just so it doesn't rock back and forth. Um, but it is an awesome creation. The amount of detail he's done to put these, these like bridges in or well, this track system is absolutely incredible. I really like it. Uh, as I also mentioned, I would like to see this in like a big island, uh, you know, expanded maybe from here over to Harrison or O'Neill or over to North Harbor or even maybe across the river uh, up into the mountains. Can you imagine this going up, up Goldwyn Mountain, like wrapping around the mountain line? 
that would be something really cool and I'd definitely love to see. Uh, so now we've reached the destination, we get a little buzzing noise and the doors goes and opens for us. Um, also the detailing in these stations, can you like look at that, that looks like corrugated iron. It looks really cool. Um, and yeah, and now we're over at the harbor and we can go and use the spawn bench. So lovely, lovely creation. Um, as I said, I've checked it out already. It's an awesome one. Definitely go check this one out, the level of detail. And this is, I love environmental mods. It just changes the game and makes the game so much more better. So with that said, let's move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Armatus. This is the Meg Hunter patrol vessel done by Sargil Razor. Now, as he says here, this is specifically designed and built to hunt the Meg. Now, he's got a little bit of backstory behind this ship. Now, this apparently was a flagship uh, boat or ship that was built by the Atlas Corporation and it was set up in 1943 to investigate the disappearance of the U-boats and ships operating off the coast of Sawyer and Tonk Islands. Now this was done during the height of World War II and apparently the ship was a sub-hunter that was converted into finding killing whatever was causing the mysterious disappearances of these ships. Uh, now he says it's still a little bit of a work in progress. It's got quite a lot of features, autopilot, sonar, lidar, radar, etc. Uh, all the normal things we would normally see. So yeah, let's. I'm interested to see how this one works. So let's spawn in and see how it drives and actually how it works in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, this thing looks absolutely incredible. The amount of detail on this is in absolutely insane from the ropes to the paint blocks. It looks absolutely awesome. Now, just spotting a few things, I can see there's a rib at the back and we even have a rib at the front, which is really interesting. And those look like they're completely working, which is great. Uh, let's see if we can jump on it. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make it. I like how he's gonna put like these uh, booster rockets here at the front. It seems like we have a little cannon also. Just even look at the detail that's underneath there. Uh, now this is a little bit laggy, um, I've spawned it over here at the rig base just to reduce on the lag, but we should be fine once we start moving. Uh, it seems like we have a door to get in and we can carry on moving around, another door, and let's move around to the back here. So we have another, looks like a Mark 60 if I'm correct, no it's not, okay, uh, definitely not. Uh, we've got arm one, arm two, arm two, push button, okay, I don't know what that, okay, flare launches on either side. And then here at the back, what do we have down here? So, engineering. Okay, so a little like engineering hatch in there. Okay, cool. Uh, another rib, so it looks like it's on some it sounds like sliders, I'm guessing. Okay, and we got some more doors to get in there. Let's go, and, let's go and see what we have inside these doors. So, we'll close that off. Do we have any lights? We don't, okay. Wow, the detailing. So this is like a uh, gym in here. Really nice. We have an equipment room in here. Wow, okay, and a locker room. I can get lost in this. this is incredible, the level of detail inside the ship. Okay, what's some more equipment things? So we can go down. So let's go down a one. So we have, okay, so now we have some lighting. Okay, that's going to make our lives easier. So we have a toggle button, okay, and we go into the engine room. So engine room is for expression, emergency, let's get engine room lighting. Nice engine room, look at that, dials. Whoa, so many things going on here. That's awesome. We have, what is this, a ladder to go up? Okay, so that was that engineering hatch that we saw earlier. Nice engine room, really, really nice. And... Yeah, let's close that off. Oh, let's get the lights off before we move on. Okay, that's really cool. Lovely detail in the engine room. Uh, we have some more, what do we have down here? So, looks like some storage and in here, yeah, some more storage. Wow. So we have some cells, so we can actually go and lock people up in there. And moving down here looks like a medical room. Nice medical room. Wow, the level of detail on the ship. And this looks like cargo storage with a door of some sort there. Okay, we have some more cargo up there. We'll come back because that will be on the next level when we go up. Level of detail is incredible on this ship. 
Okay, let's make our way back up now. We'll get these lights off. And let's carry on along here. So nothing over there. Can we move forward here? We can, okay. So what is in XO cabin? Okay, nice. Um, toilets, well, crew, what's it? Crew quarters, okay. So we've so got some crew quarters in here. It's just cabin. Even a little oh, lovely detail. So much detail on the ship. A loading base. So this is where we were, I think, earlier. Okay, so you can actually open this. You can open up that. That's cool. You can get another one on the other side. And then, yeah, that's where we were earlier on. And this is the front. Looks like torpedoes. And then, wow, okay. And then we have a little hatch here. Whew, so many things in the ship. That's incredible. I actually want to check out that torpedo room if I can. She doesn't look like there's any access to it. Hmm. Maybe I missed it. You guys will let me know in the comments if I did. Uh, but that's fine. So let's get around moving here. So we've checked out the cargo room. We've checked out here. We have B deck. So let's go up to B deck. So we have CIC. Okay, so we have some control systems in here. Weapons station. Okay, so we can actually go. Can we move those? Wow, we can. So we can actually move. Oh, that's awesome. What do we have here? So, port master safe. Okay. Exterior hatches, displays. Wow, okay. And I'm guessing these are tall. Yeah, so tall. Yeah, tube launch. Wow, that's incredible. You can really spend hours investigating the ship and seeing everything that's inside here. So many things. Okay, and what else do we have? So we have navigation room, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it looks like we have... Whoa, okay, look at that. That is... That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, so you can go and set it to where you want to. Really nice detail on that. Hello maps on the walls. Cool. Let's go and turn that off. Uh, what else do we have? So we've checked out that. I'm guessing... Where does this go? Does this go out onto the deck? It does. Okay, so this is one of the rooms we walked past earlier. So we can close that. And we've checked out this... What was that? Briefing. Okay. So a nice little radio. We've got like a little briefing room. What else do we have down here? So where we came from, we can carry on. It looks like it just goes out onto... Wait, does that... What's through here? Okay, so we just have that back deck that we were on earlier. Okay, so let's go back in. Let's go up another deck. If we can remember the way... Yep, there we go. Okay. So we have bridge through there. And then we have... I'm guessing that's bridge there also. So we'll come back to that. Seems like we have a... What room is this now? Sonar room. Okay. Workstation. Okay, so it looks like got a like a weather system here. Depth. Wow, so... So many things in here. So I'm guessing this is our bridge still. Yeah, so we'll come back to the bridge in a few seconds. Let's make sure we... Don't miss anything in this ship. Some more lighting, and then we have the exterior. Okay, so we can just go and move around there. So let's go into the bridge and let's see what we have. Now, this bridge looks incredible. Really, really nice. It looks like a real ship. Like, I don't know, I would wonder how long he took to actually build this. Uh, let's get some interior lights in this here. So, what do we have? Cool engine room, no. Lighter, lighter on. Okay, so we got a LiDAR here, and this is a radar, okay. We have the lights, I don't know what this is, don't know what this is just yet. We have some controls, wow. Horn here, some more panels, fuel pumps, or air intake pumps, I'm guessing this is to start the engine.
Okay, it looks like the engines are running. Um, gauge drive. So we might need that. And then we can get the engines back on again. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Uh, instrument backlights, secondary displays, primary displays, toggle, deck lights, anti-collision lights, navigation lights, main CPU. Um, get navigation lights off. Instrument backlights, cool. So it looks like we've got a camera, another camera, another camera, and we can, I don't know if we can change the feeds there. We've got a, it looks like navigation screen, another camera, another navigate, another camera, depth there. What the, back is still the same. Wow, so many things here. Okay, and then I guess we can just get the clutch engaged. Okay, well. Okay, we can turn that starter off now, great. And now we're heading off. That's actually very quick. Stunning looking ship. Oh my. Looks incredible. Wow. Really, really, really good job on the ship. How well does it turn? It turns fantastically. Look at that. It's not bouncing around like some big ships it's nice and smooth really really nice I love the hull the hulls look at the hull underneath there the hull looks good too yeah what an awesome creation I'm gonna leave it there because we've oh, we can get lost in the ship for hours and hours and hours definitely go check this one out um it's a really really cool one let's go and move on to the last creation of the episode and moving on to the last creation of the episode we have the n3sa2 northern adventure world war ii freighter this is a creation done by sir personogo i'm um, sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong um so this is meant to be a uh 80 to 90 meter long coastal cargo freighter uh apparently was designed for world war ii meet needs uh looks really cool apparently it can carry around 2200 tons and uh, does about 11 knots uh through the ocean so pretty nice uh feature wise normal things we will normally see uh we've got telegraph system map and radio lifeboat spotlights cranes uh 17 knot top speed i'm guessing that's when it's empty so yeah it looks really cool and very highly detailed so let's spawn this one in and see how it drives here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the next creation the ship looks incredible oh it's running really smoothly too fps is fantastic here at the oil rig and once again level of detail is looking great we've got some life rafts here um what else do we have looks like these are your main obviously cargo areas here at the front and the back the style is definitely right in it for its era uh, a little flag here at the back it looks like you have your cranes let's go and have a look around so we can move our way up and do we have anything down here okay nothing down at the back uh, let's go and move our way down across again so it looks like we have some doors to get in. So what is in here? Okay, so it looks like the engine room with a ladder that goes down. And we can move our way down. We have generator. Okay. We have the main engines with throttle. Looks like another generator over there. And then we have alarms okay alarm system look at that so big engine room really nice okay let's make our way up here lovely detail every episode you guys are stepping up your game on these creations they're looking awesome so it looks like another door to go out the front okay so we'll head up now let's see what else we have so wait on is that there's nothing here okay well we'll have to guess we'll have to head out okay and we can move up and we have next level which is okay so there's nothing inside these okay so it's not a full interior that's probably why we're running much smoother compared to the last creation uh, but it's got the engine room which looks fantastic let's go and get up to the next level so we have nothing in there okay just detailing again 
We have a bell we can ring. Okay, in case of issues. We've got new doors, very good. Uh, we got a radio room in here. It's just some simple radio, I guess. Circuit breakers and things, cool. We have map room. Cool, a little map table, nice. Let's go and close that. Okay, lovely detailing. Let's go and move along. Even though he doesn't have a full interior, it still looks like he does, which makes the creation look even 10 times better. Um, let's go and get up here. Okay, so this is the top top of our ship. Now, is there a way to get into the bridge? Because I didn't see... Okay, so we got to the top here. We've rung the bell. We've gotten through there. I want to... oh, okay, there we go. So we can climb this ladder. And then we have some spotlights. We can go and angle on either side. Open that door. And then we get to the bridge. So we have a couple seats here. We have our compass sensor. Uh, we got interior lights, navigate. So let's get interior lights, navigation lights, exterior lights. Ooh, that lags. Uh, alarm. We got coal storage, cranes, extend, retract. We have telegraph. And then just a the helm, pretty much. Where's our. Uh, how do we tell? the telegraph room that we want to start the engines maybe we need to go back down so let's go back down into our engine room and let's see if we can get these started so if we can just jump down here which doesn't take too long to get down here I'm guessing maybe those little these we need to get started possibly no it doesn't doesn't look like it it's, I would think that it would be somewhere where the coal is, so I'd imagine ship general throttle. Oh, okay, so we don't even need to start the engine. Oh, okay, we don't need to start engines. Okay, let's just go back up then, because uh, that looks like we could just press it and it goes. It's got like some kind of piston system in there also, which looks really cool. Okay, let's go and get up to the top again. Let's go and get in. Okay, and increase. So we need to go to the boilers and get the boilers. Ah, there's the boilers over there. Okay, so let's go and get down there. I didn't even think about that. Okay, firebox. Let's get coal supply, ignite. Coal supply, ignite. We can then take it off, ignite. Take it off, ignite. There we go. Now we got the engines running. What's this? A boiler prayer power. That's for. I've got the firebox in there. Nice. Okay, that makes more sense now. So now we get access to that, which gets access to that, which then means we should be moving a nice engine like how it's all moving with its pistons and things. We should actually be moving, to be honest. Let's just go and check. Yeah, we are. You can see there we go. We're out. We're actually buck we're bucketing it, but quite going quite fast. Yeah, let's go back to our bridge before we get too far away. And let's see. So look at that lovely design ship. Really, really nice and very smooth. Got our horn. How well does it turn? Yeah, it turns pretty good. Not too sharp, not too slow. Very level ship. It's not bobbing around either. Funnel at the top. Yeah, awesome little creation. Really nice one. And a lovely one to end this episode off with. I definitely can do some really cool missions with this. Um, some really nice roleplay, but awesome creations. And yeah, definitely go check them out. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.